is concerns. In Wajia, as Wajia South that have raised concern. In, um, in Nyeri, uh, Kieni is, uh, is 52% of Nyeri County. In Nyandarwa, where we have uh, Kinangop here, which is a huge constituency. In Migori, in Kisi, and, and uh, Marsabit, you know, and, and those areas. So what we are saying is there is room if we just put a rider in the BBI text that 70 constituencies as the IEBC is delimiting the, 80 constitu uh, the 70 constituencies, they are allowed to vary to an extent of 20% so that we can take care of the areas that have raised concern. And we are not saying the areas we have just listed. I think they are, among others, there are more areas that have said that, but we do not believe there will be more than 10 or 12 areas that need to be considered. And finally, I think we have also uh, been cognizant that we do not, I think many Kenyans have been wondering, why are we insisting on a consensus on process? We have been insisting on consensus on process because we know there is a way we can make this referendum win-win. We know there is a way we can accommodate everybody. We know there is a way we can remove this referendum from being win-lose. There is a mechanism that can allow us to vote on the issues instead of the personalization of the referendum. We do not want the, re the referendum to be so-and-so versus so-and-so, because so-and-so is leading this place, is leading no, and so-and-so is leading yes. That, in my opinion, is backward. In fact, we are reducing the referendum to something else. We can make it much more progressive by providing a mechanism for Kenyans to vote on the issues. We have, as a team here, agreed that we will support the proposal by CIOC in Parliament to provide a mechanism in the referendum where Kenyans can vote on issues, not just a yes-no referendum. Maybe I will explain a bit. For example, there are Kenyans who have no issue with 35% going to the counties and they want to vote yes. But there is a Kenyan who has a problem with the judiciary ombudsman. He wants to vote no. Why do we force a Kenyan to vote for something he does not want or to vote against something he wants? It is practically possible for us, for us to give an opportunity for Kenyans to vote yes for resources going to the county and to vote no for what he doesn't want or she doesn't want. And that is the opportunity we are saying should be made available to Kenyans. What will that do? The opportunity to allow Kenyans to vote on issues will completely remove this us versus them no yes referendum contest. Completely. It will remove it. There will be no need for us now to have teams campaigning yes this way, others campaigning no that way. We will then focus on issues. Which are the issues Kenyans will vote for, which are the issues Kenyans will not vote for, and the reasons why, and we can always take this forward. And let me say for the record that it was okay for us to vote no yes in the last referendum because we were enacting a new constitution. So the vote was between the current and the old. Now we are not voting for the whole constitution. We are voting for articles of the constitution. So it is perfectly in order for us to assemble articles that are together and vote for them uh, separately. And that's all we are, we are asking. We are also saying 
as responsible Kenyans and as responsible leaders that um, and as, as responsible leaders we are saying we are in the middle of a pandemic that has ravaged our country many Kenyans have become victims of the corona COVID-19 virus many Kenyans have, have lost loved ones some have gone through untold suffering including members present here in in hospitals many Kenyans are not able to afford uh, you saw I think it is in the media that it costs about 21,000 every day very few Kenyans can afford that kind of uh, uh, costs and the attendant issues of a financial crisis that has been occasioned by the corona uh, pandemic we want a discussion a candid discussion our proposal is we should commit every resource that is available towards tackling the corona pandemics alleviating the serious uh, crisis in our uh, in, in our economy making sure that in january there are face masks there are desks there are facilities for our kids in school in january and that there is a possibility for us to take this referendum together with the election in 2022 we want to offer a discussion we are not saying that it is cast in stone we want to be persuaded why why is not possible for us to do it in 2022 our proposal is we can do it together with the election in 2022 so these are proposals we are putting on the table in good faith and we are requesting the other stakeholders we are requesting the other stakeholders uh, we are requesting the other stakeholders to give us to uh, to engage with us so that we can responsibly be able to prosecute this initiative together um, many of you may want to ask me um, maybe Kenyans will get confused maybe how will they vote for the, uh, the different items but let me answer it this way when Kenyans go to vote in an election they vote for MCA member of parliament women rep senator governor president six positions right in the six positions they vote for there are 10 candidates for one position 15 for another they are literally voting from a group of almost 100 people but they still manage to identify who they want so if we make this referendum six or seven questions independent questions there is absolutely no difference with how Kenyans vote when they go for election so it is absolutely reasonable for us to isolate five six seven items itemize them and Kenyans can vote independently like the way they do in every general election I'm not good at it I don't know uh, tumefanya mkutano wa kundi letu hapa wa bunge 146 na senators 7 pamoja na viongozi wengine wengi walio hudhuria kikao hiki wengi wetu hapa ni wa kutoka vyama mbalimbali kwa sababu jambo hili la kubadilisha katiba sio jambo la chama ni jambo ambalo linahusu wa Kenya kwa jumla tumekubaliana na 
um, yale mambo ambayo yameshughulikiwa yame, yame kutoka BOMAS mpaka KICC tumeona ya kwamba kuna mambo wa Kenya stakeholders mbalimbali mbali, walitoa maoni yao na mambo kadha yamechukuliwa yame na sasa ni imewekwa katika katiba ambayo imependekezwa kati ya mambo yale ni kuondoa mambo ya eh, shida ya, ya polisi mambo ya IBC imewachwa eh, hakuna hakuna matatizo tena eh huyu duale wacha tu niseme hii Kiswahili ni sawa mambo yale mengine yote yameshughulikiwa lakini tumesema ili tuweze kutembea pamoja kama wa Kenya kuna mambo machache ambayo pia ni ya muhimu bado kuna utata mambo ya judiciary na independence ya judiciary tuko na mapendekezo ya vile kuondoa utata huo tuko na maneno ya representation ambayo tumekubali kwamba sehemu za wakilishi bunge zingine sabini ziundwe lakini tumependekeza ya kwamba asilimia ishirini IEBC kamati ambayo inasimamia uchaguzi wapatiwe nafasi asilimia ishirini waweze eh, kurekebisha ndio tuweze kushughulikia sehemu ambazo wametoa malalamiko vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba bunge wa Kenya wengi wanalalamika kuhusu